a crowded room, cheers filled the air. Longview teachers were hearing the details of their new contract. It's really a relief uh, because, I mean, the fact that we had to get the courts involved at all is really, I think, sad. I think that we could have worked it out uh, at the table. Um, and, um, I mean, I think it forced kind of everyone's hand. She's referring to a judge's decision that came down on Friday, ordering teachers back into the classroom. And I uh, got handed a picket sign on my first day. So For first-time teacher Nick Higgins, his first day will finally come. But hasn't tempered any of my enthusiasm for... Uh, education and students and and uh, what I'm going to get to do. So I'm just excited to get to start. Maybe the biggest fight for this small district salary. We're very happy and for the most part we did really well and so I don't think you're going to talk to many teachers in Longview right now that will be disappointed. This was really super awesome. Showing support outside Evergreen High School parents showing support for their kids teachers walking in to vote in a gymnasium full of red t-shirts. Teachers approve their contract behind closed doors. It made the eight days of being out there picketing worth it, worth it, showed how strong we are. <laughs> yeah. And while the biggest reward was again the salary, Teachers here say substitute pay was another big accomplishment. The guest teachers got substantial enough raises such that we can be competitive as a district and retain good guest teachers and not lose them to other districts because they're being more adequately paid. Than, yeah, they um, increased the substitute yeah. daily wage. Yeah. As the last of the teachers filed out of the school, high fives and celebration because school starts tomorrow.